Suresvi Motion. Suresvi Motion stands for the Stories V Motion. For example, we have the ESS Host 1. For the ESS Host 1, there are two data store clusters are there. One is the SAN 1 and the second one is the SAN 2. There are two data stores. Remote data stores are available. So right now, my Windows 2003 SQL VM, this VM files are stored in SAN 1. So SV motion means storage view motion means so moving the storage location from the one store device to other store device without any downtime. So now, so we have to move the storage files from the 2003 SQL VM files they are by default in the SAN 1. Now we are planning to move into the SAN 2 without any downtime. And this concept is called as a SV motion, storage V motion. So when you can use the storage V motion means, example, I'm planning to upgrade my storage devices, my design devices. And my VMs, all the stores will be located in the SAN 1. But I want to down the my SAN 1. So before down the SAN 1, we can move this all VM files into the SAN 2. Then we can down the SAN 1. And for this case, we can go for the SV motion. For the SV motion, the prerequisite is similar to V motion only. So now we can see how to perform the SV motion now. So now open the vSphere client, VMA vSphere client. So type the IP address or the name of the vCenter server and the username and password. So this is my Windows 2003 SQL, this is my VM and this VM it is on my VM name is Windows 2003 SQL, it is on the ESS2 server. So this IP address is the 192.168.5.2, sorry 5.4, the VM. So right now my Windows 2003 SQL VM, see its IP address is 192.168.5.4. It was hosted on ESS2 and our main requirement this VM is on the storage is on SAN 1. So my requirement, so I have to move from the SAN 1 to SAN 2 without any downtime. See first of all my ESS host must have the two storage devices. So now go for the 
ESS2 and go for the summary of the ESS2. So the ESS2 host ESS2 host has a two data stores. One is the local data store and the second one is the there are two remote data stores. One is the SAN1 and the second one is the SAN2. See right now my VM is located in the SAN1. So I am planning to move from the SAN1 to SAN2 without any downtime. Now go for the VM and VM summary. So the IP address of this one, the virtual machine is 192.168.5.4. So what I can do means why migrating storage device from the SAN1 to SAN2 without any downtime, we have to move a virtual machine from the one storage device to other storage device. For testing this one, so just I'm going for run command. So I'm using the command you can say ping space and virtual machine IP address and uh, specifying the IP and T for the continuous checking. So now say enter. So just minimize it. And this 2003 SQL machine right now in the SAN 1. And I'm planning to migrate into SAN 2. So right click under this 2003 SQL machine and click on migrate. So there the options are available is called as a change host is there and this is called as vMotion. Now change data store. See so remove the virtual machine storage to another data store. So go for next. So right now this is uh, your ESS2 local data store and go down. So right now this is in the SAN1 and I'm planning to move to the SAN2 device. So validation succeed. So this meaning indicates the known errors. So click on next. So the current location, the host. And data store, I'm moving to the SAN2 and the same format, the pen click format only. So click on finish. So when you click on the finish, in the meanwhile, you can do one thing. So click on finish. See here I'm getting the continuous reply. So go for the task. This 28 percent is completed migration. See so little bit the time it may be taking the Generally, the time should be taken less than 1 millisecond, but sometimes it takes like 20 milliseconds, 16 milliseconds, like this way. If your network card speeds may be like a 10 Gbps, so it taken like with a fraction of seconds only, we can able to migrate a VM from one data store to other data store. Even right now we can see this two or two thousand three SQL mission. So thirty five percent is completed. So here I'm not getting anything like a request time at all. The user who is working on the Windows 2003 SQL machine 
a uh, little bit maybe going for a little bit slow only but there is no downtime And you can see right now the task is right now the relocating West formation is a 2003 SQL migrating. So, right now, relocating West formation active task also we can see here, and still it is in the sand one only. Once if it is completed, so it will change to sand two. And you want still you want to check it out just to go for the tasks and events in the particular video. So I can go for the migration from the host ESS2 sand one is completed. See here. So this is the information is available. So it is a moving, migrating the virtual mission Windows to country SQL from ESS2 to ESS2 only, but SAN1 to SAN2 is completed, the task is completed. So now go for the VM and click on the summary. So you can see right now your VM is under The storage location, the VM store location is on SAN2. So, this is the process is called as a SP motion, storage V motion. So, the storage V motion is that the VM should be in the same host only, but you are moving from the one storage device to other storage device. So before it was in the SAN1 device, now we move it to the SAN2 device. But while moving, without any downtime, we can move virtual machine now. So we can see the ping option also, uh, you have any downtime or not. So here in this complete things, there is no request channel option. So without any downtime, we move the virtual machine from the SAN 1 to SAN 2 data stores. So my Windows 2003 SQL server also running properly now. So without any downtime. So this is called as a SP motion.